Hey, what's going on everyone? BoHD here, and Android 6.0 Marshmallow has officially made its way to the LG V10, specifically the Verizon LG V10. So what are some of the new features? Well, let's take a look. I'd like to think the device runs smoother and incorporates more stock Android elements into the skin, but that's not the case, unfortunately. The app drawer still scrolls horizontally. The notification panel is uh, relatively unchanged. The overview navigation tray appears unchanged. Uh, there's no shortcut to the Google Now voice support on the lock screen. The one thing that I noticed different initially was actually the startup animation, which uh, welcomes you with hello, and then the new Verizon logo, which is uh, not the most aesthetically pleasing logo in my opinion, but uh, maybe I'm in the minority. That's really all that is different. Overall, the aesthetics, the appearance is pretty much identical to uh, Android Lollipop. But that's not to say there are no new features. One of the biggest features is Google Now on Tap. This feature is uh, very much present in this operating system. It's very much present on the LG V10, um, and it functions just like it would on any device running stock Android. You can use Google Now on Tap to highlight relevant and useful information based off whatever you are viewing. So say you're looking up the incident with uh, Bernie Sanders and the bird that landed on his podium while he was speaking in my hometown, I shall add. That was pretty cool. You can do that to quickly pull up the video. It works in more practical ways though, such as if you're uh, viewing a message, mentioning a new movie like Zootopia, you can use Google Now on Tap to pull up the show times and other info relating to the movie, which uh, can be pretty useful. You'll also see that Android Pay is now present on the V10, even on the Verizon variant. This will allow you to store your debit or credit cards on your smartphone and wirelessly pay for stuff at stores that support the service. The system UI tuner doesn't appear to be available thanks to the skin LG has running on top of Marshmallow, but if anyone has the info about where it might be or if it is even present, let me know in a comment. Permissions are new to Marshmallow. If we go to the app manager section and view a specific app, you'll see a section for permissions where you can enable or disable each individual permission, uh, which is pretty neat. I don't see any way to set a custom lock screen message under the clock like you can do in stock Android Marshmallow, so that's kind of a bummer. Unfortunately, you won't see me self-promoting myself on the lock screen in this video, but there are plenty other videos for you to uh, see me do just that. But Android Marshmallow brings a fancy new memory section to the LG V10, which basically just displays how much memory is free from the total memory, as well as how much memory is used from each app. Overall, the LG V10 should in theory run smoother than in previous versions of Android. Android Marshmallow supposedly is smarter in that it can detect which app to open when you click on a link. For example, if you open a link to Instagram, the new OS will know to open the Instagram app instead of the mobile web page. I have also noticed the fingerprint scanner works much better. If you remember my review of the LG V10, I did not have a lot of good things to say about the fingerprint scanner. I will say it has been noticeably improved and unlocks my phone much faster than before. The new OS will even allow the V10 fingerprint scanner to work with third-party apps. Now, I haven't noticed too much of a difference with the new Doze battery saving feature, but uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter if you'd like to hear an update about how it performs on the V10 when I have more time to use the device on a daily basis. I would have liked to have seen more aesthetic design changes to the device, but ultimately, I welcome many of the behind-the-scenes changes that enhance the experience. Granted, there have been some performance bugs here and there that were not present in the previous build, so I hope they get ironed out in future updates, and I hope they get ironed out soon. With that said, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're brand new, thank you for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.